Well, today marks 40 years that one of the most high-profile cases of a missing child in modern times began in Iowa. The story of the missing West Des Moines paper boy continues to captivate people worldwide. Johnny Gosh disappeared in the early hours of September 5, 1982 on his paper route. Crime reporter Linda Cook has followed this case for four decades. Linda, take us back to the morning that Johnny went missing from his West Des Moines home. Stephanie, witnesses saw Johnny at a paper drop. He was picking up his newspapers to deliver them. Another paper boy said he saw Johnny talking with a stocky man in a blue two-tone car near the paper drop. According to another witness, Johnny said the man was asking for directions and that a man seemed to be following Johnny. Johnny's parents, John and Noreen Gosh, realized he was missing after they began to receive phone calls from customers whose papers hadn't arrived yet. Two blocks from their home, John Gosh, his dad, found Johnny's wagon with the newspapers in it. Hmm. Well, Linda, was Johnny ever cited after that? Yes, he was. In March of 1983, a woman in Tulsa, Oklahoma, said Johnny ran up to her. He was being chased by two men. Johnny said, quote, please, lady, help me. My name is John David Gosh, unquote. The two men then dragged the boy away. Wow. So what lengths have law enforcement taken to solve this case so far? Johnny's picture was among the first to be featured on milk cartons in a campaign to find missing children. As of today, law enforcement continue to track leads. Officials say that this is not considered to be a cold case and that the investigation continues. This case is not a cold case. It is not closed at this time. It is still open and we're going to continue to pursue any tip or lead that we get so we can help bring that closure to the family, the nation, and the community that has such a vested interest in this case. Still, the Johnny Gosh case is listed on cold case websites and other missing person sites and this case continues to receive national publicity. The 2014 documentary Who Took Johnny is streaming on Amazon Prime and other platforms right now. Mm -hmm. Well, Linda, have any laws changed because of Johnny's disappearance? Yes. Noreen Gosh, his mother, lobbied for the Johnny Gosh bill, state legislation that mandated an immediate police response to reports of missing children. It became law in Iowa in 1984, and similar laws have been passed in Missouri and other states. So have any other sightings been reported so far, Linda? Well, Johnny's mother says he visited her in 1997 and told her he had been a victim of a pedophile ring that he lived under an assumed identity because he didn't think it was safe to come home. Have any arrests been made in this wild, this wild scenario? No, no arrests mm -hmm. ever have been made in connection with this case. But that is not discouraging the Des Moines Police Department. We are not going to stop investigating this case until we get some form of closure. So our, our practice remains the same and our goal remains the same. We want closure for the family, for all the people that have a vested interest in this case, law enforcement agencies, the community, the nation. We want to bring Johnny home and reunite him with his family. And if that can't happen, we at least want some form of closure for this case. Enforcement asked the public to help. If you have any tips or information that could help bring closure to Johnny's family, please call your local law enforcement agency. In the newsroom, I'm Melinda Cook, Local 4 News.